Now, for more on the conference in Texas, I'm joined now by Mary Curtis. She's a columnist at Roll Call and host of the podcast Equal Time. Thank you very much for your time and for coming on our show today. Now, what do you think it says about Trump's influence over the Republican Party with this kind of poll? I think it says it's still the party of Donald Trump. More than two-thirds of the folks at CPAC really still support him and want him to run in 2024. And while CPAC at one point was thought to be a little on the fringe, now it really is the heart and meat of the Republican Party. And you could see that from the speakers, many of whom are current senators. We, you mentioned Rick Scott of Florida, who really gave a red meat speech that picks up the tone of the Republican Party, that your opponents aren't just your opponents on policy, but they're your enemies and that they are evil. And that's the rhetoric mm. we have coming out of CPAC. And Donald Trump, who is still speaking, is really echoing this. I thought it was interesting reading that more than half of voters listed building a border wall and immigration uh, uh, as one of the most important issues. At a time when cost of living is so high, inflation is out of control, why is it, do you think, that Republican voters are landing on these sorts of issues? Well, that is one of those issues that they have kept really hammering on. And we see they're making a lot of political hay from this. Uh, Greg Abbott, uh, Abbott, the Texas governor, is they're uh, sending busloads of immigrants to Washington. He's threatening to send them to New York to make that point where... Uh, that rhetoric you see that it's an invasion not only of America but of American culture and it all fits in with this rhetoric of the great replacement theory that somehow Democrats are and it's a conspiracy theory there's no truth to it are trying to replace classic Americans whatever that means with outsiders uh, and you see this really echoed in some of the speakers we saw Viktor Orban the leader of Hungary who really has made been criticized for talking about uh, Europeans and whites they don't want to live in mixed-race societies. Now, some voters think Trump has too much baggage and prefer to see someone like Ron DeSantis carry on the same ideas. How likely do you think that is, we'll see a strong running from DeSantis and give Trump a run for his money? I think it will be a competitive uh, Republican primary for 2024, and you can see uh, DeSantis positioning himself as Trump-like in Florida, being very strong in his policy, some would say authoritarian. So yes, uh, but at the same time, Donald Trump is not going away. And you see that in states like Arizona, a crucial swing state, that the candidates that Trump has endorsed have done very well, many candidates around the country. So we'll see at the midterms about his influence. Many candidates who still do not accept Joe Biden as the uh, rightfully elected president, although we know that election fraud also, uh, there was no election fraud. And what about the appearance of Hungarian leader Viktor Orban at CPAC? Uh, what message do you think this sends to voters and the American public? Well, I think it's a little bit of a disturbing message. He was cheered, and this is a man who uh, has been taken over his has taken over his country with very strict policies. Some would say authoritarian, and CPAC and many Republicans have embraced that as a model. So I think for American voters, they have to pay attention and see if they want this kind of red meat politics that attacks those like LGBTQ and others to make political gain, if they want to see a version of that in the United States. It will be up to the voters. This will be a very important midterm. Mary, thank you very much for your time. Mary Curtis there, columnist at Roll Call and host of Podcast Equal Time. Thank you.